Did you ever want to know how to make sparkler shots like this or like this or like this? In this video, I'm going to teach you exactly how to do that. I'm going to show you how to set your camera, what settings to use, and then how to get the shot. Let's go. Sparkler shots are actually one of the coolest shots. Uh, they're my favorite, especially at the end of a wedding night to do some epic uh, shots. And so they're not really difficult to actually do. Um, you need a simple tripod, a camera, um, a lighter, and essentially a little bit of patience and you can do some amazing job. So I'm gonna take you outside and I'm actually gonna show you my setup. Let's go. So as you can see right now, we're outside. It's getting close to dawn and the sunset. Um, and this is really the only time you can really get these kinds of shot. You really need the sun to go down. Um, so now I set my first uh, camera and you don't need a lot of equipment, um, a tripod, a camera, and uh, essentially uh, a lighter. Um, and then finally uh, the, the uh, sparklers um, between those four um, is really all you need. It would be actually better if um, you had a second person, um, but I'm using the the fire pit that you see behind me as a kind of dummy to get the camera in focus. Um, but you can te technically do it on your own, um, but it will be exponentially more difficult um, and it will take many tries to really get the shot, um, especially getting the framing correct um, and getting the focus perfect. Um, so again, to um, get the right kind of uh, shot, you need to set your camera to one manual so you can you know keep an eye on the exposure triangle. Um, you need to get your um, f-stop to f22 and remove as much of depth of field as possible. And then next thing you want to do is set your ISO as low as possible to be able to get the the, the darkest. Um, exposure as possible to really bring out the the sparkler lights out and then the last thing you want to do um, is to set your um, your your shutter speed uh, to 15 seconds and then when you do that you really are able to capture all of the movement of of, of your sparkler um, and then um, you want to set your white balance to um, essentially sunset and then um, and then get a timer going because you can't really hit the trigger button and then take a picture while you're moving while you're trying to get the sparkler lit up with a lighter so what i did here is i actually set up my um my camera with a 10 second timer then i realized um that actually 10 seconds is a little long longer than i really needed because uh, the sparkler by itself uh, goes out in about 10 seconds so um, I realized uh, after a couple shots that if I set the timer to two, two seconds, then it was enough to really get in position, frame myself, make sure that I can actually see myself and then get the camera in focus and then run to the spot and then get the movement going. Um, you know, it was a little bit more difficult than it needed to be. A second person definitely would have come in handy, but, um, you know, this was for fun and just to give you a quick tutorial and, uh, um, I think uh, I got some uh, pretty decent shots uh, considering the challenges. Um, sparkler shots are really fun. Um, it was somewhat of a uh, rainy day and so the grass was kind of wet. So that does help prevent um, fires from starting. Those uh, sparklers uh, do let up a lot of heat and uh, doing this during a, uh, a summer night may not actually be a wise time to do it you may set a forest fire um, but right now um, you know it was a really wet wet ground and so you know throwing them where there is a little bit less grass and more sand and dirt um, really put those those things out so here I'm kind of setting my my camera again um, for every shot that I take um, I had to manually press the trigger 
and then get in position, get a sparkler going, and then try to make sure that my movement did not go out of frame. So first thing, first picture I took was a heart shape image. Um, I think I nailed it on the first try um, and a little bit, a bit of luck there. Um, and then the next picture was um, an actual sort of a spiral. I thought um, they look cool when you really nailed them. And so I'm going to try it again. I did burn myself once when the actual the, the heat got too close to my thumb, but um, it, the pain went away rel relatively quickly. So that was okay. So here I am again trying one more shot and I'm doing the sparkle. Then I realize I did it twice, uh, but I only have to do it once because the camera is set to 15 seconds. And so what you want to do is you want to do your spiral and then hold your sparkle um, to the last place. That's really how you nail that shot. You can't do it any other way. So then I realized my mistake. Um, and so I had to do it again. And, and luckily I had a dozen sparklers with me. So, you know, so after a few attempts, and the different patterns, I finally put it together. Um, and so here are the final pictures. So that was it. Um, I hope you like those images. And uh, at this point, I realize it's starting to pour outside. And if I don't get in the house, um, I'm going to lose the camera to the rain. So I'm rushing in to grab all my stuff, put the fire out and get in. Well, we made it back inside just in time. Uh, the rain is now pouring outside, uh, but we got our shot. Um, and so I hope you like this type of content. Um, if you hit the like and subscribe button, I'll show you more tutorial. Peace.